hell are you doing here? Uh, I'm Edward's guest. Is that a problem for you? You have to come running whenever Edward whistles. That's your problem. I'm under no obligation to keep you company, so. Who asked you to? Sonny. How is he? Jason? Who else? I don't know. He, uh, he works for me, that's all. I'm no more forgiven than you are. That's not exactly true, now is it? I mean, come on. At least, you know, you speak to him. You guys probably actually carry on conversations, right? When I'm not even allowed to get anywhere near him, I can't even... You wouldn't wish this on me. I'm under house arrest, okay? My husband is holding my child hostage. Every time I, I try to go someplace, he threatens to have me recommitted. <laughs> I thought you had more guts than that. Excuse me? I know the deal Jason worked out for you. You're free and clear. Hmm. Legally sane, unconditional release. The only way they can send you back to Ferncliff now is if you ran around armed and dangerous. No, you know what, you... What? You pretend, I mean, you, you think that you know everything. You don't know, okay? You have no idea what it's like to be locked up in a mental institution, okay? <clears throat> it's like hell. And my child would be here alone being raised by a bunch of crazy lunatic freaks whose idea of love is this dysfunctional... Well, I never noticed you racking up points in the love department. Maybe I trashed my own life, but I'm not gonna trash Michael's, and I'm not gonna let anybody else do that either. Then why don't you start now by, by, by standing up to the quartermains? You're only a victim if you let yourself be. Now, that's just my, my you know, observation. For a worthless excuse, for a human being, selfish too. Sometimes you actually have some, something decent to say. I know how to take care of myself, same as you. Oh. Reginald told me you were waiting. Yeah, and I'd, I'd like to know why. We have business to discuss. Edward, I was just keeping Sonny company while he wait and, um, I took the liberty of inviting him to the ELQ party tomorrow night. Over my dead body. What evening? Um, I, I think I can <laughs> clear my schedule. I ask you here to negotiate a compromise with yeah. the union, not to invite you to a private party. All right, let me get this straight. You want a favor, but I am not good enough to attend a party in your home? How dare you? You're the cheat. You are an unscrupulous, immoral blaggard, and I would rather go bankrupt than to have you cross this threshold. Edward, uh, why on earth are you being so rude to Mr. Grimbus? Ah, uh, I think it might have something to do with the fact that I invited Sonny to the ELQ party tomorrow night. Oh, please say if you will join us. Oh. I do so enjoy your company. I'd, I'd be honored to. Lila. Lila, if you're quite through flirting, I would like to uh, discuss something with you in private. Of course, dear. I assume that you're going to be uh, making that phone call to the union, right? I'll think about it. That scoundrel is an affront to everything that is decent in life. <laughs> so I guess I'll see you tomorrow night, huh? Well, I guess I have no choice now, you know. Lila's expecting me at all. Awful. So did you invite me here because you want to get back at Edward, or do you have some crazy plan that's going to bore me to death? Actually, I have some crazy plan that I think... <clears throat> I think that party's going to be one that nobody forgets for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs>